Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Yoyo EV UZ80, a fun to fly 1S micro quadcopter that comes as a kit which you'll need to assemble by yourself. In this quick video I'm going to show you how to build and configure it, give you my feedback after testing it out and show you some flight footage. In terms of packaging, inside the box of the UZ80 kit you can find the Crazy B F4 Lite all-in-one flight controller which features an integrated 5A BLLES 4-in-1 ESC, a 25mW VTX, and a built-in Sky or FlySky compatible ready receiver, depending on your version. The Runcam Nano 3 FPV camera, 4.0802 19,000kV motors, the Batam unibody carbon fiber plate, a bag with two sets of HQ-Prop 40mm bi-bladed propellers, the canopy of the UZ80, the assembly diagram, and the bag that contains rubber bands for securing the battery, a Phillips screwdriver, and a hex key driver. As for assembling the UZ80, it's very simple and won't require you to do any soldering work. The first thing that you need to do is to secure the camera mount that comes inside the bag along with the canopy to the Runcam Nano 3 FB camera using two Phillips screws on each corner of the camera. Then mount the camera inside the canopy using a Phillips screw on each side. Now you need to mount the motors on the bottom plate and make sure that the motors with the marked JST connectors are placed in the following manner. Then insert the M2 screws into the 25.5 by 25.5 mm mounting holes on the bottom plate and secure them using the M2 nuts. Insert a rubber grommet on each corner of the flight controller and mount the flight controller on the bottom plate in the following manner. Plug each motor JST connector to its designated position. Secure the canopy and finally connect the FPV camera to the flight controller. In order to configure the UZ80, you'll need to connect it to your computer using the micro USB connector which is located on the bottom of the flight controller. And since the VTX is going to be powered up, even when the flight controller is powered only via USB, make sure not to leave it on the bench for too long without proper ventilation, as otherwise it might damage the VTX. After connecting the flight controller to your computer, open up Betaflight, and as you can see, the Crazy B F4 flight controller comes pre-flashed with Betaflight 3.5.7, which is a little bit outdated, however, since it is working well, I recommend to leave it the way it is, at least as a start. Most of the settings of the UZ80 are pre-configured for you, so basically what you need to do is to bind the radio receiver with your radio controller, set up your favorite flight modes and OSD elements, and configure the VTX. Binding the FRSky D8 compatible radio receiver to your radio controller is done by heading over to the CLI tab, then enter FRSky underscore bind, press enter, and bind your radio controller using FRSky D8 mode to the radio receiver. As for setting up the VTX, on this version of Betaflight it is done using the CLI tab as well, so you'll need to configure the band and channel, and don't forget to enter save and press enter in order to save your settings. In addition you should note that out of the box the motor direction is reversed, so pay attention to it when installing the propellers. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the UZ80. And overall, after testing it out, I think that it's a great option for a beginner who'd like to advance from something a little bit slower, like a whoop, for a couple of reasons. First of all, as it is relatively light, it's not going to cause a lot of damage in case you are going to bump into obstacles, but keeping that in mind, you should still be careful because the propellers are not protected. In addition, even though the thickness of the unibody button plate is 1.2mm and it is very flexible, it is a pretty durable quadcopter as I crashed it many times and the quadcopter is still intact. As for fly time, using a 300mAh 1S LHV battery you can expect about 2 minutes. Using a 450mAh 1S LHV battery you can expect between 3 to 4 minutes. And using a 650mAh 1S LHV battery, which is in my opinion the recommended option for this quadcopter for a beginner, as it will provide you with the longest flight time out of these three batteries, but still will keep the quadcopter relatively agile, will provide you with between 4 to 5 minutes of flight time, 
of course, depending on how you fly. Finally, I also think that it's great that the UZ-80 comes as a kit because it is extremely easy to assemble it and assembling a quadcopter, even if it's very easy, will provide you with a sense of accomplishment which will be very useful in upcoming builds. So in case you are a beginner or you'd like to get a family member or a friend into this hobby, I think that the UZ-80 is definitely something that you would like to check out. Keep in mind though that in case you don't have any other type of equipment, you will need to purchase batteries, a battery charger, a radio controller and FB goggles. And I think that a good starting point for somebody that doesn't have any type of equipment would be to get the Radio Master T8 Pro or the Jumper T-Lite, at least three or four batteries, a simple USB battery charger, and the EV800DM goggles, which is a relatively budget-friendly option and especially good for somebody who wears glasses. Anyway, that's going to be it for my quick review of the UZ80, and now I'm going to show you some flight footage. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.